Happy to have you with us for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Hi, folks. This is Brian Anderson. I'm with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. So the Timberwolves win the tip. Rivalry games, Grant, always extra spicy, especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final. So that's going to naturally... Develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. All right, check it out. Golden State's opening lineup. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay at the one and the two. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Dario Saric. And it's Rain Man in at the four man position. Edwards finds Conley. Four on the clock. Towns for three. Rain Man grabs the board. Curry against McDaniels. Here's Rain Man. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gobert. There's the three. Rain Man. That's good. And Sharich, just one of those European players that comes over with the fundamentals. Beautiful play there. And so Conley will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's a three-point game. Pass to Edwards. Back to Conley. Towns for three. Clay Thompson pulls down the board. Golden State has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Here's Rain Man. The three. McDaniels with the rebound. Now Conley. Now Gobert. Giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game. A nice dish by Gobert. With his height, he can see over the whole defense. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, what would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. Now here's Conley. In the game against Cleveland, very impressive. Edwards can't hit. The Warriors have gone one of four to begin this one. Here's Rain Man. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Rain Man's got six points. So much talk about Steph's scoring ability, but he's also a great facilitator. Towns outside. Curry against Conley. McDaniels from long range. Warriors with the rebound. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. And it was really their defense that got them the win. They had a plan scripted out, and it worked to perfection. Well, good defensive game plan, and then carrying it out for 48 minutes. That really helped them out in that last game. Conley against Curry. Now here's Edwards. Not a lot of room. Pass to Rain Man. Now here's Thompson. To the left side wing. Another three for Golden State. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And so Conley will bring it up for the T-Wolves. Trailing by 10. Victory eluded them last time in San Francisco when they faced the Warriors. And last time against this squad, they struggled to make free throws. And the basket by Towns. Nice positioning and footwork on point. And town so smooth down there inside. Rayman knocks it down from distance. 15 points in the game. Wow, <laughs> their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Thompson against Edwards. Pass to Conley. Here's Gobert. Here's Towns. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's an aggressive attitude defensively. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. 
Conley passes to Gobert. Towns outside. Three-pointer. Again, the miss by Towns. Now he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Rain Man's got 17. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Connects from downtown. <laughs> they're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Has to go bare. And Minnesota calls time here. And this late in the season, Grant, would you say the adage, nobody is 100% rings true? 100%. I mean, at least that was the case for me. <laughs> There's some truth in that saying, though, for everyone. Most guys might not be 100% until they get a full off-season rest. Since the All-Star break, here are the best passing teams in the NBA. The Warriors, number one. They're clearly on the same page offensively, and the chemistry has gotten better and better. The assist totals have been outstanding. Outside Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Conley looking for an opening. Down to five on the shot clock. Tipped. To stop the run. That one falls. A little great option he gives them on every possession. The Warriors have gone a fantastic 8 of 11 so far. Launches it. That one's good. Seven for ten now. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Conley against Curry. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Towns. And he gets it to fall. Three for eight in this one. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Thompson outside. Here's Rain Man. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. Now Edwards, defended by Thompson. Edwards can't hit. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Rain Man, the pass to Thompson for three. And the Warriors with another three. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Yeah, just continuing to unlock his game. If Edwards adds the playmaking component, <laughs> watch out. And the Warriors call time here. And the Tim... Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Nikhil Alexander-Walker out there with Shake Milton. Then there's Kyle Anderson. Then there's Anthony Edwards. And it's Reed in at the center. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Oh, oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. He's officially taken over this first half, making all the right reads. Minnesota has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. And Brent, the offensive style of this Warriors team, they stand apart from the rest of the league. Well, it's that perimeter shooting that's just so elite, B.A., that really sets them apart. They move the ball, they move themselves, but they can really shoot it. And when those shots are falling, this team is incredibly difficult to stop. Hey, guys, Rain Man in their last game against the Pacers delivered quite a performance. He ended up with a jaw-dropping amount of points, and as always, a lot of those points came in bunches of three. Really just a phenomenal performance from him. Here's hoping we see more of the same from him in this one, guys. All right, Alec, thanks for the update. It'll be interesting to see if he can heat up once again tonight, Grant. Yeah, you know he wants to do exactly this, B.A. Just needs to continue to play with the same fire and energy. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. Now here's Edwards. 26 points for him last game against Cleveland. Oh, 
Shot clock at six. Anderson for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Curry's got his sixth rebound on the night. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Some changes for Minnesota. Gobert comes in for Alexander Walker. And Conley subbed in for Milton. Sharich checks in for the Warriors. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Kaminga. Three, good. They're making a few more threes this quarter, trying to cut into that deficit. Over to the left wing. Here's the three. Rain Man, that's good. Rain Man's got 11 points in the quarter. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Now here's Edwards. He's got 10. Picked by Gobert. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. And the jam by Gobert. An awesome athlete. It's fun watching Gobert get up and hammer it down with force. And so Paul will bring it up for the Warriors. Out left to the wing. Pass to Sharich. To the wing on the left. Yet another bucket. Another outstanding game for him. He has been a consistent offensive force all year. Only three other players in NBA history have more 40-point games in a season than he does. Edwards, the pass to Reed. Rain Man grabs the board. Rain Man's got four rebounds now. The three is up. And the Warriors with another three. I, I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Here's Rayman. Another three for Golden State. And both teams running long-range play. that are working well both of them looking towards the three-point line and I like to see that especially when the results are made buckets Reed to screen on Curry. And Edwards slams it in. Man, that's just awesome. Edwards at six foot four, 225 pounds, dancing with the ball. Wiggins. And there's another one for the Warriors. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's Rain Man. Non-stop scoring machine right here. Let's go with a three. And the Warriors with another three. That's some classic Chris Paul in action, reading the floor and finding the opening. Curry against Edwards. A shot from the mid-range. That shot, no good. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Here's Rain Man. Oh, another one falls. 50 points for him yet again. And I feel privileged to watch him go to work this season. Well, now he has pulled even for the second most 50 point games in a single season. What a year. And he's done it 30 times. I mean, it's unreal. That was the mark that prime Will Chamberlain established all the way back in 1963. Back to Gobert. Shot to stop the run, and he lays it in. Gobert's gotten four this quarter. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Great man, that's good. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Edwards looking for an opening. Reed for three. The rebound by Wiggins. So it's the Warriors now. Pass to Curry. Here's Rainman. 
This one for three. Anderson pulls it down. Eight second difference between. Between the shot clock and game clock. Connolly with the ball. And it's Paul picking him up. Connolly against Paul. Reed with it. Kicks it out to Anderson. Takes a three. Can't get it. He's now one of four from the floor. Here's Paul. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Chris Paul, when he gets into those tight spots, he becomes pretty smart in there. Chris Paul. That's good from Paul. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul hits them both. Just four seconds left in the second with one on the clock. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Warriors ahead, running away with this one. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And as for our matchup, what a tremendous first half it was for the Golden State Warriors. Their passing was clearly superior in the first half. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson. gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. And the Warriors shooting has been incredible. 72%. Kick it off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. Thompson and Wiggins on the wing. Then there's Dario Saric. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Rain Man in at the four. You talk about players that mean... much to their team. Stephen Curry at the top of that list, Brent. Yeah, you just look at the numbers, B.A. They're staggering about what happens when this team doesn't have Steph Curry on the floor. And really, Curry becomes the entirety of the way this offense works. That's a good look from Clay right there. Just the court awareness. And that guy was wide open. Towns passes to Conley. Curry against Towns. From deep, Conley. That one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. Conley's got his second basket on the night. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. 4-3. Again! What an avalanche! That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A remarkable performance from him so far.
far. Pass to Towns. Here's Gobert. Rain Man grabs the board. Rain Man's got a rebound number eight here already in the game. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Outside Conley. Now here's Towns. That's bucket number five. He's five for 12 now. Yeah, we've seen Conley do this forever. Running the point with precision. To the right side. Here's Rain Man. Offensive rebound. Wiggins for three. And the three-pointer goes. Wiggins has got five points. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. The Timberwolves have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Clay Thompson is able to go on scoring stretches like few players in NBA history. He said, quote, once you see it go straight through the net, that's when you're in the zone. At the beginning of the game, you hold your follow through. Once you feel like you can't miss, you shoot real quick, and that's a great feeling. You feel on top of the world. B.A.? Yes, indeed. Thanks, Allie. Minnesota with the ball. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago, McDaniels finds Conley. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Gobert. Warriors with the rebound. Rain Man's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Well, Clay Thompson can shoot the ball and score. We know that. He's also a capable defender. We know that. But how about checking out his playmaking? Towns for three. The Warriors pull it in. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. The teardrop. The shot by Rain Man, no good. So some smarts there on that play. Changing his shot in the air so he could avoid the defense. Can't fault him for the creativity. Now here's Edwards. He's got 12. And Grant players often looking to exaggerate contact. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, B.A., it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long overdue. The shot by Rain Man, no good. For Minnesota, they've gone four of eight in the third. Pass to Gobert. Towns for three. Rain Man grabs the board. The Warriors have gone six for nine in the half. Here's Sharich. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Sharich has gotten his first basket of the night. Fighting through the contact, Dario does a great job that time. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And go there with the stuff. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Outside McDaniels. Here's Towns. The Warriors pull it in. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. The shot by Rain Man, no good. The Timberwolves have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Anderson's checked. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Kyle Anderson is out there with Nas Reed. Then it's Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Then there's Anthony Edwards. And it's Milton in at the point. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Around the league, we're increasingly seeing former players in front office positions, Grant. It's so true, B.A., and we need even more former players in those roles. They bring a perspective that a lot of front offices just don't have. They can add value with their experience. I really like this move. Now here's Edwards. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Conley's checked in. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Here's Anderson. And 
finished off by Anderson. The ever-expanding skill set of Edwards. Nice dish right there. Shoots. Moody, good. Some sick ball skills displayed right there. And he's not the guy you expect to pull that off. Reed sets a screen. Milton passes to Reed. Offline with a three. It wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Pass to Edwards. Over Carter. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Warriors have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. And out of bounds, Minnesota will have it. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Edwards against Carter. Outside Milton. Reed sets a screen. Beyond the arc. And Milton good for three. Milton's got his first three points of the game. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Here's Edwards following the score by Golden State. And you know, there's so much coaching turnover in the NBA, Brent. Why do you think that is? If you examine B.A., some of those changes, look at the ownership changes that has happened within two or three seasons of a coach being released from his duties from a team. So these owners want to put into place maybe the style of play that they want from a different coach. And when that happens, it's about results and about those results being too immediate. It's causing a lot of change, and it, it makes that job a little bit more tenuous than it was in the past. Rain Man, that's good. Rain Man's got eight points in the quarter. I mean, he is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. Connolly passes to Edwards. Reed for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Rain Man's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Yep, count it. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Pass to Milton. Will it go? It's the trifecta. He's the last guy you want to leave alone on the perimeter. The Warriors have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Outside Paul to the middle. Rain Man. He got it again. Sensational. Incredible. 81 on the night. Channeling his inner Mambo right now. There's no slowing this guy down. He's on fire. And finished off by Anderson. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Moody passes to Green. And again. Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. The B.A., it feels like he can't miss. Milton finds Conley. Back to Milton. Here's Reed. Green covering. Reed passes to Milton. Paul against Conley. Reed a screen on Paul. Four on the clock. Pass to Anderson. Three-pointer. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got his fourth assist in this one. Green, the pass to Carter. Out to the wing. Here's Rain Man. Another three for Golden State. The strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And Grant, you grew up in the D.C. area. A lot of great basketball players coming out of the DMV in recent years. Yeah, B.A., especially PG County with Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, and plenty of others. It was a great place to grow up in the DMV as a sports fan, and that legacy definitely continues. Towns, he's checked in for Minnesota. McDaniels comes in for Milton. 
Minnesota has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Towns passes to Conley. The kick out to Edwards. Towns on a screen. Fires the three. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Warriors. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. Add this one to the win column. They're 57th of the year. And they didn't deviate from their game plan against this team. It's what helped them win their first two games against them. Add another one to the win tally for them. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Rain Man. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Warriors. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Gobert's checked in. And it's Conley with the ball for Minnesota. Pass to Gobert. And here's McDaniels. The Timberwolves again can't hit. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Great man, that's good. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts, but otherwise, the mindset is, I just gotta get the next one to go. And you don't wanna put that much pressure on yourself. There's 10 seconds left in the game. Now here's Conley. And so it's the Warriors.